Hi everybody, welcome back to the Crochet Lovers Crochet Podcast, episode number 58. I'm Amelia, nice to meet you guys if you're new here, and hello if you're a returning viewer. Um, I, <laughs> I filmed this intro before, and I said the wrong thing, and I said the opposite of what I was trying to say, so now I'm going to say it the right way. Um, happy National Bullying Pre- Prevention Awareness Month. There we go. Um, this is extremely important to me if you're new to the channel because I love Hat Not Hate. I love everything they stand for, which is essentially the Bullying Awareness Month. Um, Hat Not Hate is a bullying prevention campaign and, um, I, I always have the information at the bottom of my videos if you're interested in them. Um, and I'm going to be talking about Hat Not Hate soon, so... Um, yeah, so like leading on to that, I am working on my own hat not hate hat. Uh, I have made over 200 hats for them, but not a single one has been made for me. And I was like, you know, I always talk about them, but I never sport them. I don't own a single blue hat. All of my hats are like maroon or something. Um, so like, I want to make myself a hat. So that's what I'm doing, and I'm taking my time on it, and I'm making it something I'm proud of, and that I'm actually going to wear. Um, so I dug out some of my blue yarn from Lion Brand. So Lion Brand also supports Hat Not Hate. They're like the organization that like birthed them, kind of. <laughs> so um, this is a big one pound. It doesn't feel one pound, but it's one pound. I don't have the colorway with me, but it's fine, we're in one pound. And I started this, like, the night of the podcast, of last week's podcast. Um, and it's actually really concerning because I normal I never, like, unravel the yarn. I always pull from the middle. Um, but as I was crocheting this, or, like, getting ready to, one of the two, I don't remember. Um, I was, on one of my crochet Facebook groups, someone <laughs> made a comment about how they were so upset with this yarn. Um, it was a different colorway because it just kept pulling out, like, little strings just, like, randomly in there. Or it was, like, being really big knots, like, bad yarn barf. And I was like, well, good thing I started to unravel that. I think I was unraveling because I couldn't find the center, but either or i'm glad that i unraveled it <laughs> anyways here is what it looks like so far um i crocheted 30 stitches wide and then i folded them together and then i stitched single crochet i single crocheted them together at the very top so this is nice and thick and it'll be nice and warm and especially in indiana Mother Nature can play tricks on you. I kid you not. I tell this to everyone. We have had four seasons in like one week before. Like it is possible. So the weather can just. Um, so I'm looking forward to those very cold winters, and I'm gonna be nice and warm in my brand new hat. So I am gonna have bad hat hair this whole episode, by the way. Because I have another hat to show you after this. Um, so you can see here, my yarn kind of did that to me. Um, I was trying to pull my yarn up so I could, like, save my loop so it didn't get, like, unravel on me. And it just started, like, um, I don't know if that was my fault, the yarn's fault. Anyways, I love it so far. And I think I'm going to make it into a beanie. We will see what happens. Um, yeah, you see what I mean? Like, this is my loop. And it just started, like, shredding on me. And then, like, it did that to it. So I'm just gonna try to, like, crochet over it and just, like, pretend that never happened. But this was a nice, like, crochet at night project. Um, I would get, like, 15 done in a day and good you can kind of tell that it started off wide and then went down um because apparently i can't crochet straight but i don't care it's for myself and like have you seen the meme 
on Facebook, I think it was for Ireland, um, where they say that there's a, it's like a legend that if you don't, a piece of your soul goes into everything that you crochet or internet and it stays there unless you like mess up. So you have to mess up unless like your soul is going to get trapped in the item. Um, and especially for someone like who crochets a lot, you're going to have a lot of items made. So always like mess up so your soul doesn't get stuck or whatever. So like <laughs> that was my mess up for that item. And now on to, oh, by the way, I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook for that. Now my next item is another brand new project. I have been watching a lot of like 24 hour knit with me challenges or like watch me knit a sweater. Um, just because I, I really like those videos. I just like the time lapses of them. It's a part of the reason why I make a lot of crochet with, or where I used to make. I have a lot of videos that need edited still, but like the crochet with me's, um, I love those types of videos. Like I will sit there and watch them all day long. Um, and I feel like there's not a lot of content out there like that. So that's why I like to try to make some too. That way, like I like to watch my content also. So like I can just add that to the list. Um, anyways, well, I will, I usually stick to like the crochet side, but I was like, why don't I just watch some knitting videos too? Cause like I watched all the crochet ones that I could find. So I was watching some knitting, like the 24 hour knit with me ones, like I said, and I was just getting this urge to try to learn how to knit again. And I have been on this up and down hill for a very long time. I can knit. Okay, I'm going to say this in context that before two days ago, like I could knit and but I could never go anywhere with it. Like I could do a simple dishcloth and I could I could never knit in like a circular or anything like that. I could just like knit on the needles and then make a dishcloth or make a scarf or something like that and I was able to follow some knitting patterns. Um there was one that I did that was like divided into four sections. Um, it's on Ravelry. If I can find it, I'll link it. And like one of them was a heart, one of them was garter, one of them was stockinette, um, and one of them was seed maybe, or maybe another like design, maybe a star, I don't remember, but it was like four different things. And I had to read a pa like follow the pattern to do that. And I was like, for somebody who was like learning how to knit, I'm surprised I was able to do that. Um, but this leads me to my current project. I was having that itch to knit, and I was like, I'm just going to do it. But I was like, if I'm going to learn how to knit again, or I guess if I'm going to continue my knitting process, I want to learn how to knit with my right hand, because I'm a continental knitter. I have always been like that. It's just in my blood, because I crochet, so I hold my yarn with my left hand. It's just out of habit. It's just how I do when I'm doing it that way, just it's a flow, it makes it easier. So I went in with the mindset that, okay, I'm going to do this with my right hand. <sighs> I can't. I I have footage of me trying and trying, and I'm sitting there like trying to weave it through my fingers and trying to get tension on it and just Oh my gosh. I will eventually learn how to do it, but I think I've come to the conclusion that I'm a continental knitter and that's that. So, long story short, I've been working on a hat. I know, I never thought I'd ever say that. Um, this is out of the heat wave yarn in the color green. Luggage. I love this yarn. I don't know why. Maybe because it's so unique and how it's like heat wave, like it heats up. But in theory, every yarn heats up in the sun. Um, I always make my my hats out of this. I guess this is because this is my only special yarn. Um, because the extent of my yarn shopping is Red Heart Super Saver. Or Mainstays. Or Cotton. So, this is the 
because it's not a runner super saver, it's red heart heat wave, it's special, it's different. So this is like that really good yarn that I saved for a project. I was like, if I'm gonna make something for myself, I'm gonna grab my good yarn out. So that's what I did. I'm really surprised I didn't grab because I have a blue in that heat wave too. I don't know why I didn't do that for this one, but that is so big. Who would have thought I have yarn size in my head? Okay. Anyways, distracted. I can't tell you what size knitting needles these are. I pulled them out of a bag that was given to me in knitting needles. Um, I think I have a knitting needle gauge spot somewhere, but not anywhere that I can remember. But these are, this is how big it is. Not very big at all. Um, if I had, I guess, maybe a 4.5 knitting needle, and it's not, it doesn't say anywhere, and it's just, these are clear, I can't take these off, so they're not interchangeable ones, um, I don't know what chuggoos look like, or I think they're called Haya Hayas, but, um, yeah, anyways, you probably could have guessed that. I was knitting if you like are constantly following my channel um I because I I was really worried because I cast it on I'm not following a pattern I cast it on 100 stitches and because I saw this image mind you I'm not following a pattern because I couldn't follow one not knowing what size needles I was using and these are like the only circular ones that I could use that weren't like the nine inch circular ones for like for socks. Um, so I looked up how many stitches should I cast on a hat and I clicked images and on all free knitting this website there was a size reference picture that looks like this that basically says a teen slash adult should cast for a weight for yarn should cast on 84 to 104 stitches and for an adult size hat which is 23 inches um you should cast on 92 to 114 so i have a bigger head so i cast it on 100 just like call it middle of them um because like my grandma's an adult but she has a smaller head so like it's like i'll just call it 100 and obviously I couldn't try it on when it was just stitches on a circular thing. Um, but I, so anyways, I know how to knit and I know how to purl and I was like, I know that I can do a ribbing off of that. So I did a ribbing, which I wasn't counting my stitches. I was like, this is just a practice. I'm not going to make a pattern of it or anything. So I don't know how well you can see it, but I did, you can see it, I did a ribbing, and I was having a lot of fun with this, because I'm like, I'm getting the hang of this. I was doing a ribbing, it was a 2 by 2 ribbing, and then the rest of it, it was just knitting, and I did all of this in two days. Oh, you like my stitch markers? <laughs> this right here is a drop stitch that I have to figure out how to pick up, and right here is like where my round begins. And what really makes me happy is that if I hold it, because that way they don't fall off. Because I have to get end things too. Um, I can put it on. And it actually fits for the most part. Because, like, again, it's on, like, knitting needles right now, but... It's not too loose, not too big, and I just have to figure out, like, when I should start decreasing, or if I should just let it go until it's, like, too big for a slouch or something. <sighs> this just makes me happy, though. Like, I never would have thought I'd be able to do this in a thousand years, and here I am doing this. Because my struggle with, um, oh, look, see, I told you hat here. My struggle when I'm knitting because I've tried making like cowls in the past on everything because I was like 
too afraid to do a hat. Who knows, maybe this might turn into a cowl too. Was that I wouldn't be able to, um, Oh, when I cast it on my stitches, it was, I'm distracted, I'm knitting. It, instead of it all coming out like this, it was, some of them would be on like this side, if that makes sense. Um, I just, I couldn't get the stitches straight to all lay out on the one side, like some of them like, some of these would be on this side instead, but I could pretend like this isn't so long, like, it would end up like this. And I didn't catch it till I was... Let me see. I'm sure you can see it. I was in part of the ribbing, and then I ended up flipping it. So I could do it. I don't know. I don't know if that made sense at all. If you knit... You probably understand what I'm saying. If you crochet, though, I'm sorry. That would probably confuse the heck out of you, but... Yeah. It's also 10 o'clock, and my brain is going crazy right now because I have an exam tomorrow, and I wanted to stop and calm down and record a video. So, something else to talk about. Like, this is all. If you just came here for the content, this is all. Um, but I'm gonna keep talking. So... Um, if, if that's all, bye. Um, nice to see you. Um, but I'm gonna keep going. There was... I tried recording a video yesterday, and I don't think I'm gonna post it, though. Um, I need a water break. Where I was... Because... For context and backstory. I... It's midterm season. I'm in college. I have a really important midterm exam tomorrow. And tomorrow is in Monday the 10th. And I was really procrastinating on studying for it. Um, so I planned out, I studied for it and everything. Like, but Saturday, I was just going to have a very productive day. I was going to wake up at 7 and... I planned out a whole schedule for myself. And like these little breaks like right here and right here. Um and like right here and everything. I was gonna um like crochet in between my breaks because when I crochet it just resets my mind. Yeah, so like so I got my ear now, sorry. Like when I crochet it just resets my mind, and especially when I'm trying to transition between, like, my history to my education and just different topics and everything. Um, it's great. Plus, especially when you're high stress, high anxiety, it's just... Especially, I'm sure if you crochet, which I'm sure you do, you understand what I'm talking about. Like, crochet is great for more than just popping projects out. It's great for your mental health, and I actually have a video made from like 2020 that I just never posted and it's finished it just needs to be posted about how to use crochet as a coping mechanism um which if you like if you want to watch it and wanna, let me know because I can post it it's just I don't remember exactly what it's about but it's I know I shared an example of how to use crochet as a coping, how I use it as a coping mechanism, and then how someone else did as well. So let me know. And yeah. Anyways, I got up to a. I did wake up at seven, and I did because. I didn't wake up as soon as I ate, which I probably should have. I got hungry around, like, halfway into my study session at 9 o'clock. So at 9.30, I had to, um, I had to stop studying and I had to go eat. So, um, that took about an hour of my time. So that really just threw off the schedule as is. And 
when I tried to go back on schedule, it just didn't end well, and then my whole day got thrown off, and I was like, I had good intentions, but it just didn't end well, um, and I did end up knitting a lot yesterday, so, um, I think that was one of the reasons why I got so far into this as I did, because I didn't start this until Friday night. So if that tells you anything, it's Sunday night right now. Like, I really put a lot into this. And for someone who hadn't knit in such a long time, to just pick it up that fast and to just constantly knit at it. Like, I was knitting hours at a time. Um, either I was just really trying to procrastinate or just, like, really enjoying my knitting. Who knows? But, <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways. So for my future projects... I, okay, well, going in with the plan that I wasn't going to knit at all, I thought I was going to be able to finish my golf club covers yesterday, but I never did, so I'm planning on getting those done this week because it's fall break, finally, Thursday, Friday, I have fall break off, so I'm planning on taking a lot of mental health time and crocheting and who knows maybe I'll have a finished hat done we will sorry oh jeez it got caught on maybe that's a good sign to stop knitting it got caught on my um paper clip there go. I'm going to do finish the golf club covers. I have like one and a half left to do. I think that's a great idea. I was because they aren't gonna take me very long to do. I just have to actually sit down and do it. But because I have to have my pattern up with me, it's harder for me to because I'm usually using my phone or something to like watch um a show on instead of having the pattern pulled up on it, which is probably what's holding me back from actually doing it. Um so that that'll take me about an hour and a half maybe to do and then I can give them to their owner and I'm sure their owner is going to be so excited about it um and then along with that I can work on these hats these are my hats are going to be my top priority um earlier this week I got a couple more orders from my family my aunt a different aunt than the one who asked for the bees asked for me to make two totoros um she sent me this picture from the Instagram free underscore pattern underscore free on Instagram. This little Totoro. And she asked if I could make two of those. And I was like, well, yeah, of course. I love Totoro too. Like, I just made this big Totoro over the Christmas time um, last December. I forgot his little leaf, but it was so big and so comfy. And I love that. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to do those, and then I also have to make three little headbands. Sorry, I was getting them blown up. Like this. And... They take up... It's going to be for a toddler, so it's going to take up the majority of her head that way is like nice and big and I have to make three of those because it's for a set of twins and then another sister they're all the same age um so yeah um just look forward for those hopefully I will do them and who knows maybe I can finish some of my crochet blankets that I just, you know, been needing to work on and just never do. Or maybe I can work on some of the bees that I started. <laughs> I don't think you guys ever seen those things. Oh, I, just, I made some fluffy bees and then they just need some wings on them. Oh, it was like last October when I got into a knitting phase. I started this dishcloth. And I got pretty, I got halfway done with it, and then I did a row or two when I was just trying to practice my, um, my right hand, my right hand knitting, and 
So I guess I could say I worked on this also. But I did two rows. Um, maybe I could finish this. So I can work on my purling too. Yeah. I have rambled on for a while now. Bye guys. I need to go to bed. <laughs>